I'm down here with this. What do y'all think that means? I'm gonna tell you what that means. I mean, go get this. Hey gorgeous, it's Natalie and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to talk about giving main character energy. Let's get into the five perfumes you need right now. Okay, so the first perfume is going to be Burberry Goddess. Y'all... Y'all, first of all, I blind bought this. I've been waiting for a new Burberry scent to come out ever since I got the Burberry Her, which I love, by the way. They did such a great job with Burberry Her, and baby, when I tell you they did that with Goddess, you wanna talk about feeling like a Greek goddess? Oh my God. Y'all, this is right up my alley. You know me, y'all know me. And if you watch me and you've seen any of my previous perfume videos, that means you're pretty similar to me and you love a warm, spicy, or sweet and gourmand scent. Baby, when I tell y'all, they did that for us. They did that for us. It's just so, oh my God. It's so, so delicious. It's giving Greek goddess. This is, listen, this worked great for me over the winter, but let me tell you what, she's getting worn the entire year. Y'all see how much of this bottle I, y'all see the bottle? I, 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 this is coming from someone who has quite a collection. This is so good. I've been tearing this up and you know, I love to layer a fragrance. So I've been layering this. I'll wear this on its own as well. But this is just so good. It's sweet. It's still a little spicy. It's very warm and just like comforting. It smells so good, but I think this will do amazing. Like I would definitely wear this on an island in the evening for like dinner. I would wear this anywhere to be quite honest. It works well day and night. I just love it. Let's talk about the notes for just a second. So the top notes are vanilla infusion and lavender. The heart is vanilla caviar. The base is vanilla absolute and it's a gourmand. Yeah, this is a very heavy Heavy, heavy vanilla fragrance with some lavender notes built into it and the more it dries down the more you smell that vanilla if you are a vanilla girl you are going to absolutely love this okay and then I'm going to talk about how I layer this a little bit later like at the very tail end of this video but it's just a beautiful gorgeous scent as far as the longevity for Burberry Goddess I feel like this lasts a long time like all day if I put this on in the morning I'm gonna smell like this when I get home I don't know if it's about the way that I layer it because I do layer this but whenever I have this on I smell it at the end of the day I get tons of compliments when I wear this. If somebody hugs me or something like that, the first thing they say is, mm, what do you have on? They love this scent. They love this scent, especially when I do my little combos. This, the longevity on this is great. Not to mention the bottle is absolutely stunning right on my alley. It's a clear bottle with a gold top and then it has like the Burberry goddess emblem. It just looks perfect. Like the, the bottle matches the name perfectly. It's so beautiful, so sophisticated. It looks amazing, amazing on your dresser, on your perfume stand. This is just mm, so good. A 3.3 ounce bottle of this is going for $168, which I think is great. I think that's a great price for this much perfume. I would, I'm gonna buy this over and over and over again. It just smells so good. And I gotta tell you, Burberry has done it again. She's not disappointing. I love this perfume and I highly, highly recommend you run. You run, not walk, you run and you pick this up. This is a very safe blind buy and I highly recommend it. So the next scent is Prada's Paradox. I don't have the bottle um, because I 
broke it. I don't I don't want to talk about it. It's really sad, but I I just could not bring myself to buy a whole new bottle again, so I just did not. But I do have a sample like the travel size because when I like a scent, I do like to get the travel size so I can just throw it in my purse. That way I always smell good. So I do have the travel size, but this perfume went crazy for a minute, y'all. Like we couldn't even find this in the stores. Y'all ran this out. I mean, boy, did y'all come through. This is a very, very, very pretty scent. It's extremely feminine. Yeah, this is good. Mm. Super feminine scent. I love it. I think when I would like to smell fresh and girly, this is the perfect scent to wear. This is gonna be great for spring and summer because it is a little light and fresh and floral. Let's talk about the notes for a second. It's top notes are pear, tangerine, and bergamot. And you guys know I love anything that has bergamot in it. The middle notes are orange blossom, neroli essence, neroli, jasmine sambac. The base notes are bourbon vanilla, amber, white musk, and benzoin. Paradox is really, really good. Prada did very, very well. I feel like this is perfect to wear at work. You can wear this on a date. It's giving, to me, it gives very much power play. This gives like boss woman in the boardroom type vibes. It's just so, it speaks like confidence, but it's also playful and yeah, I just really, really like this. This is, this is a good one. There's a reason why this was selling out. It's an amazing, amazing scent. And I feel like it's quite affordable. So the Prada Paradox is going for $168 for three ounces. I don't have the bottle, but I'll put a picture of the bottle here. The bottle is so cute. It's so cute and it sits so cute on your table. That classic Prada triangle like emblem that it has, it sits to the side a little bit, so it's different. I, okay, I might need to get it. I might need to repurchase the entire bottle. It's just so, cute i don't think that you can go wrong this spring and summer wearing prada paradox definitely is like an instant classic i think it's going to be around and people are going to be loving this perfume for years and years and years to come they did it right they did so good on this and i highly recommend that as well okay so next up we have the highly anticipated you know, people were waiting on this scent for a long time. There were so many talks on the blogs, Facebook groups were waiting on this scent. It's Tom Ford's Vanilla Sex. And y'all, I like it. I really, really like it. It is, you know, it's Tom Ford. I really like this. Okay, so let's get into this for a second. This is very much vanilla. This is vanilla in a bottle. If you don't like vanilla, you're probably not gonna like this. <sighs> yeah, if you don't like vanilla, you're not gonna like this because it is very much vanilla. And I actually love vanilla, so I don't mind that. I will be honest with you, I tend to layer this. I think I wore it solo one time. Other than that, I layer this almost every single time because it comes across as just like a straight vanilla. So let's talk about the notes really quick. It's vanilla tincture, vanilla absolute. It's got floral notes, bitter almond, sandalwood, tonka bean absolute and ultra vanille, which I don't know what that is. Definitely smell the almond in this. I like this. I like this. However, a 1.7 ounce bottle goes for $395. I don't know. This smells, it smells really, really good to me. And I feel like it's a must, but I'm not going to tell anybody to go out and spend $395 on this perfume. But y'all, it smells so good. I would say if you can afford it, it's worth it. If not, absolutely not. I mean, definitely choose something else, but I love this perfume. I'm very happy that I have this perfume and I wear it often. I try to slow up on it, honestly. 
I can't show you through the bottle, but I've been using this and I'm trying to slow up on it because it was pricey, y'all. Like, it was definitely really, really pricey. I love the bottle, of course. I love all of Tom Ford's bottles. They all look the same. This one just happens to be all cream. The label is kind of like a, a neutral beige tone that just says Tom Ford Vanilla 6. As far as the longevity of this, I will say it's pretty on brand with the Tom Ford as far as longevity. I feel like Tom Ford does have scents that last a really, really long time on me, but I try to extend my scents as much as possible by laying it on top of oils and lotions so that way it sticks to me a little longer. And like I said, I do mix this quite often. So I'm gonna say it's the typical Tom Ford time frame of about six hours. It just gives a very mysterious, sexy, playful scent. It just puts you in a mood. It really, really, really does. Like you're definitely going to transform into like a seductress when you have this on. Yeah. Like the name is appropriate. I'm just going to say that the name is appropriate. It, it oozes sexiness. I think you have to have a level of confidence when you wear this. You just know that you smell good when you have this on. It's definitely giving sex. Definitely like vanilla sex at that because it's so vanilla heavy, but I really really love this guys And I do recommend it if you can afford it if if not, I will say obviously there's other options for you, but I do really like it guys. I really do like it. Okay, the next scent we're gonna talk about today is gonna be YSL's black opium over red I'm not gonna hold you I was really surprised by this scent. I really, 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 really like this a lot. If you don't wanna pay for like a Tom Ford's Lost Cherry or any of the cherry flavors that came out, I don't know, I'm gonna say try Black Opium Over Red. The cherry just like bursts into the air at the first spray. Oh my God, the opening is amazing. I love this, I've been, Y'all, I don't even know if you can see it. I'm gonna try to get some close-ups of it, but I'm here. I'm down here with this. What do y'all think that means? I'm gonna tell you what that means. I mean, go get this. That means to go get this. That's what that means. It smells so delicious. It's so sweet. Let's talk about the notes for a second. Okay, so the top notes are cherry and green mandarin. Middle notes is, ooh, wow, I'm about to butcher this, but it's Moroccan Orica Jasmine, <laughs> Orange Blossom Absolute Black Tea, and the base, of course, because you have to, it's got to be Black Opium, the base is Coffee, Indonesian Patchouli, and Madagascar Vanilla. Y'all, if you liked Black Opium, this is just such a really, really good twist on this. Uh, the bottle looks exactly like the regular black opium, except it's got a red tinge to it. It actually doesn't even distinguish that it's black opium over red. You'll know because the bottle is red, but it just says black opium on it. Oh, I, this was a blind buy for me, so I didn't buy the full bottle. I ended up getting the smallest bottle for it, but a 1.6 ounce of this is $130, FYI. I got the one ounce, highly regret. Highly regret. Because I love this. The longevity on it is great. I'll spray this on in the morning and I still smell myself by the end of the night. Like, I absolutely love, love, love this. I layer this with everything. I layer this with Burberry Goddess. I layer this with Tom Ford's Vanilla Sex. I layer this with Killian's Angel Share. It don't matter what I layer this with, it just, it smells so good together and alone it smells amazing just so feminine and fun but sexy Woo. okay so let's also talk about the longevity of ysl black opiums over red this lasts pretty long i'll say i'll say for the price point of this i'm gonna say it gives me a good six to eight hours because if i put this on in the morning i still smell this in the evening uh, yeah, this this does well on performance for me. Yeah, go get this, y'all. This, 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10 for me and I'm definitely gonna repurchase. For sure, these two, as soon as they run out, they're getting repurchased. Guarantee you, not gonna catch me without it. <laughs> I like what I like. I like what I like. And when I like it, I rebuy it, okay? I like what I like. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get into the last scent, the final scent, perfect, right on time for spring and summer, and that's Replica's Beach Walk. Guys, I was really surprised by this scent. We're about to go into that season where everybody's gonna start going away. We're gonna start taking our summer trips and we're gonna start going out of town. We're gonna be in Cabo, Cancun, or what other gorgeous islands that there is. And this is a great alternative to Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. If you don't wanna pay the price for Soleil Blanc, I'm gonna say try to give Replica's Beach Walk a try. Yeah, it just smells like summer, guys. It just smells like summer. Mm, yeah, I just love, I love this. And I've smelled Soli Blanc and Soli Blanc smells good as well. But I feel like this is so similar to that. You can save the money and just go with this if you like Soli Blanc, but you don't like the price tag that goes along with it go ahead and get you Beach Walk. I just have the one ounce because it's something I wear mostly in the summertime, especially if I'm going away. Like if I'm going on a trip somewhere, if I'm going to lay by the beach, by the pool or something like that, then that's typically when I'll wear this. Or just, a, it's like a great daytime scent. It's not anything that I would necessarily wear at night, although I think you can wear it at night. But I like it. It's so playful and it's just giving beached, bronzed, like goddess vibes to me. I absolutely love it. I got the one ounce. It was $85 for the one ounce because, you know, Replica, I think their regular full size bottle runs for about $285 or something along those lines. But let's talk about the notes for a second. The top notes are bergamot, lemon, pink pepper. The middle notes are liang liang, coconut milk, and heliotrope. And the base notes are musk, benzoin, and cedar. And yeah, I mean, I like everything in there. You definitely smell the coconut. Oh my God, I, yeah, I love this. I absolutely love this. Kind of respraying this, because I haven't worn this since I went to Cancun with my family, because like I said, I wear it mostly in like the summertime. I did some things with this little bottle already, you know, for something that I just wear in the summertime on vacation, but I really, really love it. And honestly, respraying it, Makes me feel like I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably wear this a lot more this summer just while I'm out here in Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta's not the beach, but you know, I'll never turn down an opportunity to smell good as hell, baby, okay? Good as hell, because y'all already know how I feel about that. Now, let's talk about the bottle for this. The bottle for the replica is the same as all of the other bottles. It's that really clean, crisp clear bottle it's got the rope around the top there's no top for this it never is that linen label with the name of the perfume as well as the fragrance description which is sun-kissed salty skin and i think it's appropriate it smells just so yummy i love this Those are the five fragrances that i really feel like is worth the money and i think if i needed to rate Ooh, should I rate these? I think if you could only choose one, if you could only choose one right now, oh my God, I don't know. Damn, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna say, if you could only go with one perfume, I'm gonna give you two options that are safe blind buy is going to be the burberry goddess and the ysl black opium over red these right here y'all when i tell y'all i'll be wearing this out these right here are going to be repurchases for sure these are getting repurchased the minute they go out that's it that's all comment below what you're excited to try if you have any of these comment below what you thought about them good or bad i think it's just good to hear everybody's opinion just note that fragrance is a very personal thing everybody has different opinions we all have different noses and that's 
okay these are just the fragrances that i love and if you like the type of fragrances that i like chances are you'll like these as well so that's it guys those are the five fragrances that you need that's going to give you that main character energy if you like this video please hit the like button comment down below whether or not you've tried any of these scents or if not which ones that you're most excited to try and if you're not subscribed already what are you doing go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification as well so you're notified every single time I upload a new video I know I have been gone for a while guys but when I tell y'all I'm back I am back other than that I will see you in the next video bye